Hi everyone. Hi Gilly. Who are you? What do you mean? It's me. Your period? What are you doing here? You're not due for another week. I don't know. I just thought you might have missed me. So, you know, I just thought I'd come one week early. You know, what's the problem with that? Oh, sorry. It's just, I wasn't prepared for you. Could you leave and come back? Do you even know how I work? Once I'm here, I'm here to stay. Okay, all good. Don't worry about it. So since I just did my period series on TikTok, you know, I thought it was only fitting for me to do my very first period story and just expose myself to you guys even more. I am here to share my story with all you lovely people and hope you enjoy. So I got my first period when I was 11 years old. Um, I was year six. It was term three school holiday. So I was like kind of lucky. But when I got it, I didn't get it at school or anything. I was at my grand's for the middle weekend. So I came back from my grand's house and she lives in a different town to us. So I came back that day. And then on that same day, we were planning to go camping, but not just like to a caravan park, like kind of in a bush, like in the bush, like, you know, bush dunny, bit of a dodgy shower, like have a campfire, roast a marshmallow, like those, those campy vibes. And we were going to go swimming in the lake as you do. So I got home from my grands and you know, it was chill. And then I went to the toilet and there it was. So I pretty much immediately told my mom after I came out of the toilet, she was super supportive and really calmed me down because I was pretty shaken up. In the video I posted on TikTok, I said it was sticky and brown, which was pretty much how mine was. It wasn't really like full bloody it was like it got more bloody as it went on <laughs> got more bloody. bloody and when i did originally get my period i did cry a lot i think i was just a bit shocked like because i like 11 is still very young and i know some people do get it as early as eight or nine but i was like oh i'm why is this happening to me and i knew it was coming like mom and i had had lots of talks about it, and obviously you have like the the talk the talk the puberty nights and stuff like at school. But don't be scared about getting your period. Really, once you get it, it just becomes part of your normal life. So when we were at the campsite, the only thing that was I just found like really awkward was like, cause we were camping with a family friends and they had like kids probably my age or a bit younger. And they were like, why aren't you swimming? Like Lucinda, why aren't you coming? And I was like, Oh, I just don't feel like swimming today. Like, I just, just not in the mood. And I was so sad. I just like sat in the tent, like, look, I hate my life right now. <laughs> and then after that, I actually didn't get my period for probably like a few months, which I think is also normal. Yeah. So I thought I'd have a little chat about like what other products that I use when I'm on my period and which ones I like and like don't like and we'll just start with pads. I normally use like Libra or the You Buy Cotex ones but they're just ones I buy and they're the ones that my mum normally has. I normally buy like the super, it's almost empty, and the regular super for like the heavy flow a day so normally like days one, two, three, and then the regular for like the days after that, but it just really depends like how heavy my cycle is. I forgot to say this, but I really like to use the pads with wings rather than no wings because they just have like something extra to like grip onto and it feels like the pad just moves around less. Bye. I wasn't sure if I was gonna talk about this, but you know what? It's you getting to know me. So for tampons, I actually, still kind of struggle to use one. Yeah, I don't know. I've just found it a bit painful, but I probably haven't tried as much as I should to put it in. But I really don't want to scare anyone off from using them because I know everyone has a different experience. Like, I know most of my friends find it easy, easy peasy. For me at the moment, I do struggle, but it is a goal of mine to learn how to put one in eventually. Another product I like to have that's just handy to always have in my bag and use panty liners. Look how tiny it is. It's so tiny. It's so cute. 
these are just really good especially if you like ever spot I know I do sometimes or like on that very last day of your period when it's like there but not quite so these are super good I'm not really sure what brand this one is that's what they look like but like very thin I'm pretty sure all the period brands will tell these but I also really like to use these I'd also really like to try a menstrual cup one day but I'm like if I can't get a tampon in I really don't know how I would get one of those in but maybe maybe one day when I'm feeling super brave I'll give it a go one thing I have also tried out which I know not many people have tried or I don't think have tried is period is period underwear undies knickers knicker bottoms so the ones I have are from Modi Body, which is an Australian brand, I'm pretty sure. So the first pair I'm going to show you is the Active Brief, and it's for light to moderate flow days. So this is what the undies look like. They like soak up the blood, like an inbuilt pad, but better. You don't feel as gross wearing these as you do when you wear a pad sometimes. Definitely worn them a lot. I'm pretty sure there's a hole there's a big hole there so these are hold on 33 dollars on the website i've really liked these undies um i've worn them a lot if you're on the go or you know like i don't know you might have a period of time where you just can't be bothered to worry about changing a pad or having spare pads like i don't know it's just like so comforting to know that like these they got you like they have your back you can pretty much wear them for hours like i know i've definitely gone through days especially on those more like medium to light days i've worn these all day once you finish wearing them for the day you just rinse these in cold water until no more blood like comes out till the water kind of like runs clear do not soak them and then put them in the wash in a delicates bag and then hang them out and then you're good to go. Just don't use like any fabric softener or anything. So the next pair I have is the classic bikini. And this is for heavy to overnight flow. And the difference between this one and the first one I showed you is kind of the thick absorbent material. And the light to moderate one just goes from like there to there, if you can see that. And then in this one, it goes all the way from there and then all the way like up your butt yeah you can kind of see and it's quite thick i love this for heavy days the only thing about these for me is that i just feel a bit self-conscious wearing them when i wear like leggings but i don't know just because like it kind of does stick out a little bit and when you're wearing like kind of a thin, thinner legging, I do get worried that you can see the lines. Yeah, if you wear black leggings though, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, that's just the only thing. They are quite, they are quite bulky. And I probably have had these for over a year and a half now. I feel like they are kind of wearing out a little bit and I do kind of find after using them they do get a bit smelly but normally once you give them a good wash like they're fine for the next time but I would really love to buy like a whole new set and try different styles as well. These are also $29.50 on the website. I actually also have the bikini bottoms which to me is like the coolest thing ever. I'm at my family home at the moment and I left them at my share house where I live when I study. So I do not have them, but I'm gonna put a photo right there of what they look like on the website. They are $45.50. I think they might be on sale actually now. So if you're keen for a pair, I think they're like $23 on sale right now. I think they're for light to moderate flow and I've worn them then and they've been so fine like it's crazy how confident i feel when i'm wearing these who needs tampons when you have period swimming bath bottoms like the this is a purchase i would 100 percent recommend and i mean i would recommend all these undies especially 
like if you're just starting your period as well like these are such good purchases like worth your money and like better for the environment as well so I would definitely recommend yeah that's pretty much all I had to say I hope this like information has been relevant and helpful to you that was kind of my intention by filming it so yeah comment down below if this was helpful and go watch my first youtube video um if you haven't already um thank you so much okay bye